It's redshirt guys, you know, you get four games to play. And so, you know, I didn't get any PT early on, so I knew some way, somehow, they'd find a way to roll me in there. So um, it's been a lot of enjoyment in it. It's been really fun. What's, uh, what's been the biggest challenge for you in uh, you know, trying to, to earn that, that playing time and more and just acclimating to this level of football? Right. I mean, it's fast. You know, everybody everybody knows what they're doing. And, you know, that that's one thing that's hard as a young guy. You have to be confident in yourself and your skills. And, um, you know, you have to be confident in the game plan to go out there and, and, and do your job. How much of a confidence booster has it been just the – amount of turnovers that you guys have, the unit have come up with recent weeks? Man, we, we go through this Monday through Friday. You know, it, it just happened to show up on Saturday, but we, you know, it, it's, it's always a confidence booster. I know your, pick, your hard work is paying off, definitely. Past year's been kind of weird for you, hasn't it? It has been. I mean, when you think about it, you were committed here strongly and then all of a sudden decommitted, then you committed back, now mm -hmm. you're out here playing against Oklahoma State. Right. Uh, just, can you describe the, the kind of journey that path? Yeah. Man, it's been a journey, but it's been a fun one. I'll definitely say that. You know, I've had some different um, different situation go on than I expected and anticipated, but it's definitely been an eye-opener and an awakener for me to come out here and compete. It's been fun. How much have you grown just over this last year? Extremely, without a doubt in my mind. Um, I've matured a lot in ways that I didn't think that I could. And, um, you know, that's been good for me. Playing defense as a young guy in college, is, it's a different ball game. Sure. Um, you know, a lot of the guys in that box are very mature and older. So, um, you know, when you come in younger at a, at a university like this and, and playing the guys that you play, you grow up really fast. Is it mentally maybe the most, just as far as learning the game, learning where you need to be and obviously working with Coach B? Right. It's, you know, this is a, this is a unique defense you know not everybody can plan and not, it's not easy to learn but once you get those things down you know you have to be confident in yourself to know your gaps in the schemes what's it uh, what's your relationship like with matt wells and what's it like uh what's it been like being here with him uh you know uh, given y'all's history right man i've been i've been knowing coach wells since i was 15, 15, 16 years old. So, um, you know, being here with him, he definitely has helped out a lot, you know, just keeping my mind in it, you know, like, hey, be alert, you know, you're, you're not out of it just yet, you know, and so um, it's been very good to have Coach Wells here as well. Kobe, part of that journey that I asked you about was buying into what Brent Reynolds was selling now that you've been here, been with him for a year. Is that message, you look back on that uh, first week in December, first few days in December, you look back on that and say, yeah, I totally believe in what he was saying there. Without a doubt in my mind. It. Yeah, without a doubt in my mind. You have to, don't expect the results for the work you haven't done. You know, he always tells us that. And so, you know, I've definitely bought into what he has preached. Um, I think he preaches a good word. You just have to listen to him and accept it and believe in it. I know obviously you're focused on Saturday's game and, and the bowl game beyond that. But when you look at the future, you know, what, what are some of the things in the off season that you feel like you, you really need to work on and try to you know make strides on to, to make a bigger impact next year? Right, the playbook. You know, it, it, the playbook for sure. Understanding the game, understanding the fits, understanding the gaps, the schemes, you know, all of that good stuff. So just in the off season, spending more time. Um, you know, I'm, I won't be the youngest guy in the room. So, you know, you have to take on that role of kind of mat being mature and, and knowing that playbook pretty well. Part, is, oh, go ahead. Just part of that maturity, understanding, like they all, Danny's always talked about, Brent's just one foot means almost everything. Is that an, an understanding that you have to understand to get to where you need to be? No doubt. That that one step or that one shade over is, is a John Norman's difference, as, as you can see. Um, but, you know, once you get those things down, man, the, the sky's truly the limit for this group. Is that, are we seeing a little bit of that byproduct uh, in the passing game specifically, where you're seeing more linebackers tipping balls and catching interceptions and things like that? Is that, the last few weeks that's been happening, is that part of that? Oh yeah, without a doubt. Being in the right know, place? You, being in the right place, seeing the right things. You know, the, the thing that gets you in trouble the most here are your hands and your eyes mm -hmm. in college football. Your hands, eyes, and feet get you in the most trouble because if your eyes aren't in the right place, your, your feet aren't going to be. And so, you know, you have to get those things down to know where you're at and, and to help yourself and benefit from it.